Hey guys, welcome back to Chris Details. Uh, today I'm working on this Nissan Altima, which is absolutely trash and disgusting. As you'll see, it is a smoker's car. Uh, it was a total mess, totally gross. Probably at least 50 cigarette butts I picked up and vacuumed out of this thing. As you guys already know, there's a lot of craziness going on in the world right now. I appreciate all the support I've been getting from you guys. This was actually the last car I was able to do before this whole thing really took off. So this may be my last video for a few weeks, month, I don't know. But just bear with me and I definitely have more content coming in the future. When you guys see this car, let me know your initial thoughts. Leave me a comment, drop some smoke, cigarette, virus emojis. Um, yeah, come take a look. All right, as you can see guys, this car is a total disaster. There's trash and cigarette butts everywhere. It literally has been used as an ashtray, so you could only imagine the overwhelming smell of smoke. I wouldn't have been able to get anything done if I didn't take out the seat, so here I am doing that, always being sure to unplug the battery before unplugging any of the seat wiring. Once the seats are removed, you'll see me here removing trash and separating any change that I find. Of course, returning back to the owner. Vacuuming for this job was definitely satisfying as the transformation as the aesthetic transformation just looked so much better. You guys will see me fill it with a few different attachments on my vacuum, just trying to find my groove on what will work best. Here I'm using my lily brush to get up whatever dog hair I could. There was obviously so much dirt, ash, and I don't know what else just kicked into this carpet, so agitating it was definitely a must.
If you guys are quarantined and watching this from home, leave me some mask emojis in the comments and show me that you made it this far in the video. Looking back on the footage guys, I really wish I would have vacuumed his hair on camera, so forgive me on this one, I'll be sure to get that on camera next time. Here I'm just applying some pre-treatment on this carpet. I'm going to agitate and then of course use my extractor. This car obviously didn't have any floor mats, but there's still plenty of work to be done on these carpets. These carpets are black so you don't see a lot of the stains, but there's clearly so much dirt and so much ash just coming right out of these. As you'll see, the more I extracted and agitated, more dirt and sand just kept getting kicked up on these carpets, so every once in a while I would re-go over with the vacuum. Alright guys, I have, the water, I have the water here from just in front of the driver's seat in the car, from the extractor. If 
you guys enjoy my content, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell if you haven't already. If you guys are familiar with my previous video, something I want to point out is that Aiden was at school today, so he was unable to make an appearance on the video. Something to keep in mind guys is that the owner of this vehicle is a house painter so there were spots of panes on the seats and on the doors and just throughout the car that could not be removed. Moving on to the seats guys, I'm going to give them a quick vacuum before I really get to cleaning them.
Here you'll see me working section by section on the seats. This is rather time consuming, but I find if I just try to go over the seat as a whole, I tend to miss a lot of dirt. Something I want to point out to you guys is that there's actually nothing in the back of that seat that's actually just a crease from a crushed can that I previously pulled out. This here is a product that I really enjoy using when I get the opportunity. It's, a, it's basically a cleaner and conditioner in one for pigmented leather only that gives it a nice supple feel and adds a nice citrusy scent.
Moving on to these disgusting door jams, the steamer was the perfect tool to use for a satisfying transformation. Once the doors and the interior are complete, you'll see me adding a UV protectant, which is greatly beneficial out here in Arizona, and it adds a nice matte finish as well. Mm -hmm. 